Welcome back everyone. We're continuing our journey with prediction lines. Um, lines of best fit which we can form predictions from reliable predictions hopefully. And we've uh, just been looking at by eye methods previously or methods that involve by eye or not not by eye methods but they involve things like um, fairly basic uses of the mean or the median. And uh, these are sort of things that we've seen. They involve a bit of guesswork or estimating visually or making some assumptions about statistics and some fairly basic calculations. They're, they've got their pros and cons. So we're moving in this video towards what's called least squares regression, uh, also commonly known as linear regression because we want um, a linear model which will help us um, make predictions that are reliable. So to move away from methods that involve the mean or median or lines of best fit um, is important because the thing about some of those, the uh, the answer will vary from one person to another. So And uh, there's also precision and accuracy issues. So we need to move towards something that is more robust. So the least squares regression line or linear regression uh, equation or line is usually uh, done with complicated calculations and complicated formulas um, at higher levels than school. So at school we usually just use technology okay and um, that that is most suitable for our purposes and that's what this video is aimed at. Okay so we're talking about uh, spreadsheets like Excel, uh, graphics calculators like TIs and other software. Um, there's plenty of others as well. Um, that find a line of prediction uh, in the least squares using the least squares method or the linear regression method. Okay, it's the most accurate way, and uh, certainly from a schooling context where where this video is pitched at, it's from a high school perspective, it's, it's most certainly the most accurate way to find a line of prediction. Okay, it's, it gives us the superior line of prediction, uh, and it avoids tedious calculations and complex calculations um, if we use the tech. Uh, instead of by hand and it allow me to demonstrate very quickly okay and this is very quickly what we are not doing these are two examples of uh, the formulas or formulae um, that show you how to come up for linear uh, equation uh, of uh, in a least squares method um, and you can see even finding the gradient and the y-intercept involve quite a lot of manipulation. Uh, and an example here, just it only uses three points, okay? Uh, and just with three points, you can see the amount of work you've got to do here to find the gradient and the y-intercept. All right, so three lousy points and it's a lot of work. So imagine if you had 30, 30 or 40 points, which is often what we might have, okay? So... Uh, that will do the job, but we're going to use technology to perform exactly the same uh, feat and have the same output. Okay. The next video in the series will actually show um, how to actually do this with technology. So it will uh, initially be using Microsoft Excel. Okay. That'll be in the next video, and the uh, se sequence of videos will progress from there. But just very basically. The concept, without getting too specific, of the least squares regression, we've got um, an, a, an exact mathematical approach for finding the line of best fit for bivariate data, as we as we've said, um, and it shows us, you know, provided there's a strong linear correlation, that still holds. Uh, you can't just apply this confidently um, on any old set of data. Okay, the bivariate data should show reasonable. Uh, even visually or otherwise it should show that it's reasonably suitable for it so um, there sh should be some sort of strong linear correlation um, feasible okay um, plausible so otherwise don't use it and you can see on the right that we've seen before distances of, of various uh, data or scatter points above and below um, some suitable line okay and the idea is of course to balance that out to minimize um, the error okay the error lines are essentially those little dotted ones we want to try and make them as small as possible we won't make them zero usually but we we um, we look at the gradient and the intercept the translation and rotation and basically um, to see if we can get them down as low as possible so therefore it fits 
okay uh, the data overall okay so it ties the two variables together in our vivariate data set okay as best as possible so we've got to balance the area errors that's what we've been doing in all methods but least squares regression uh, actually turns these error lines into squares which I won't go into in this video okay that's the quite involved there so it turns these lines into squares you can see um, that we have this line here down here it's turned into a square okay and what we're trying to do is minimize uh, all the areas added together for the squares so we minimize the sum of the areas for each of these squares here okay that's basically what it does okay and um, you can appreciate that with a large data set a lot of calculation there so that's why we use technology all right so um, we're going to use a uh, Excel in fact in the next video and we're going to show that show you this in action uh, we'll see you then and join me soon